got ants in the pants, ants in the pants, ants in the pants, we got ants in the pants, ants in the pants dance, whoop whoop, ants in the pants, ants in the pants, ants in the pants dance, ants in the pants dance, whoop whoop. Hey, what's up everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber. And guess what? We are back at it again with another amazing, stupendous, tremendous, ground groundbreaking, groundbreaking, earth shattering, super size action figure review. Yeah. Um, actually, this is a versus episode, guys, of Marvel Select Ant Man versus Marvel Legends Ant Man. Which one is better? Which one did it? the best yeah and uh if you're wondering this right here i got him loose uh from he was a disney store exclusive uh ant-man and this was the newest ant-man that came out from the ant-man and wasp movie and it's from the call obsidian build a figure wave uh this is a figure that i have not reviewed yet um, let me tell you an interesting story on how this review or how this versus episode came to be. So the main reason why I bought this Ant-Man, well, I didn't have an Ant-Man in my collection. And the reason why I bought this guy is because he came with a call obsidian. I think it was a leg build a figure piece. And yeah, he came with the leg, uh, the left leg to call obsidian. It was a figure that I passed on. But I wanted to get because I wanted to customize them. I customized them. If you guys didn't see that video, check it out. Uh, so that's how I ended up with this Ant-Man right here. How I ended up with this Ant-Man right here was actually by accident because I bought this Ant-Man loose in a Marvel Select lot. Um, and so this is how I ended up with this Ant-Man right here. So let's take this guy and worlds have collided and now they're both here in a review and instead of me doing an individual review for ant-man marvel select and ant-man marvel legends because you guys have seen millions of reviews on these uh figures so might as well do like a versus episode being that i got two of them that i haven't reviewed so this is how the episode came to be okay so let's take out this ant-man marvel legends ant-man and I have not took this guy out the package. I've only re uh, removed the uh, Call Obsidian Build-A-Figure piece. So, remove him. Have you guys, do you guys like Ant-Man? I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> and uh, how the hell is this guy in here? Okay, I see. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Um, you know, I thought Ant-Man was a pretty good movie. Um, Ant-Man and Wasp was, was pretty decent as well. Um, if you guys like Ant-Man, let me know. If you guys have a favorite Marvel or superhero movie in general, let me know. Because, you know, there's so many damn uh, action figure movies, action figure, uh, ac uh, comic, comic book movies, should I say, action figure movies, comic book movies out there that I have not seen, uh, so let me know in the comments what is your favorite comic book, um, adaptation brought to life, it could be Marvel, it could be DC, it could be something else, uh, but let me know what your favorite is and let me know why, too, because maybe I haven't seen it. And I, if you give me uh, a good review <laughs> of the movie, I'll check it out. And, uh, yeah, give me something uh, to watch on television. OK, guys, now, as far as the wardrobe is concerned, I don't know if um, well, this is from the sequel. OK, so this one's from the original Ant-Man. So they are a little bit different, guys. Um, so here's the head sculpt with the Marvel Select, and here's the Marvel Legends. Very similar. Now it's making me wish I had the other Ant-Man. <laughs> because I'm technically I'm kind of cheating because he's from the sequel. <laughs> but nonetheless, they're Ant-Man uh, figures, so... 
Um, I actually do like this one a little bit better. This one seems a little bit smaller, but overall they're both uh, nicely detailed uh, helmets. Okay, so let's check out the figures and let you know that this uh, Marvel Select Ant-Man um, has interchangeable hands. So let's take this one, do a little comparison here. <laughs> Just <laughs> the facial expression for Paul Rudd, man. <laughs> it's just weird and awkward. It's kind of the smile I give to ladies, and then they look at me like I'm weird and a creep. <laughs> like, hey, how you doing, babe? And then they're usually like, get away from me, creep. <laughs> uh, no. Actually, I don't have that weird, awkward smile. I mean, maybe occasionally I do, but... I have, I have a beautiful smile, if I say so myself. So as far as the head sculpts go, I think it's safe to say this one is a little bit more better and more accurate. And this is a Disney Store exclusive. And this, was a, this came out about four, maybe five years ago. And the head sculpt, guys, yeah, it's just not, not that great. Yeah. I don't know why. Why does he have such pink ears? <laughs> um, okay, so let's go down to the. Rest. Yeah, I definitely do like this a little bit better than this. This is kind of smooth right here, and this is a little bit more detailed. Yeah, so I do like the Marvel Legends Ant Man a little bit better. The overall. Uh, costume, wardrobe, whatever you want to call it, is a little bit more detailed. And then the silver on it is a little bit more vibrant. So there's the back of Ant-Man. And yeah, the costume overall for this Marvel Legends um, Ant-Man is just way, way, way better, guys. Actually, Marvel Legends, they did an amazing job with this uh, Ant-Man. The texture overall to the legs and the feet, the knees, I think is just kind of way, way, way better, guys. What do you think? This is a little bit too smooth and a little bit too plain. I understand this is a newer one, but you know, this is the newest Marvel Select. They haven't came out with another Ant-Man. Uh, sense. I don't think they did. Maybe they did come out with an Ant-Man from uh, Ant-Man and Wasp. If if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. It's a possibility they did, right? But this is a Disney Store exclusive, so... Okay, so let's take off these head sculpts, because I'm not digging either of them. Oh, let's see. Okay, so there's the Marvel Select... We'll put this one on here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he, he definitely looks better with the mask on. That's for damn sure. Let's pop off this one and then pop on that. Hmm. You know, I actually do like this head sculpt better because it's longer. It reminds me more of an ant than this does right here. This is kind of pushed in. So I do like this one a little bit better. Yeah, since we, we removed those head sculpts, which I'm not going to use because they're pretty horrible. <laughs> I mean, this one's not too bad. I mean, as far as mo movie accuracy... Uh, or should I say, uh, actor accuracy, 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 I don't know. You understand what I'm saying. Um, so, um, yeah, this, this Marvel Legends is better than this Marvel Select. This Marvel Select doesn't, he looks like somebody else. He doesn't look like Paul Rudd. Yeah, I, I do like this Ant-Man way better now. So, guys, overall, 
and here's his interchangeable hands. Actually, he has one open hand, one fist. So what I might do is I'm going to switch this one out if I can. Take that off and then put the fist on there and probably took out the wrong hand. And I did take out the wrong hand like a dummy. So, or he does have like an interchangeable. You can use that one. There's another right there if you want to use that one. And this one goes onto this hand because of the thumb right there. So let me pop this out and put the fist in there. There we go. Yeah, he looks a lot better with the fist as well. He's got the clinched fist. He's ready for war. Let me bring my camera up just a little bit. So overall, I think they're both very, very good figures. So I think the helmet battle actually... These actually plug into here. They peg into here, into his mask right here. These hoses right here. And you can leave them in there if you want to or leave them out. It's up to you. But they're going to probably pop out when you turn his, his head. So there's that. So as far as the helmets, who wins the battle of the helmets? It's definitely this Ant-Man right here. The body overall, the be the better body sculpt overall because of the detail, it has to go to the Marvel Legends. Articulation, let's start with Marvel Select. Marvel Select, boom, 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 torso. Nothing at the waist, which is a complete disappointment. Torso break, head movement. It's on a ball joint, legs, got these weird, the DC cuts right here, which I really, really dislike. The brakes at the upper thighs, you can kick out that much. Knee bend, double jointed knees on the Ant-Man is a plus. And then ankle pivoting, good ankle pivoting, good movement in the ankles. And yeah, being that this I got this figure loose, he's in considerably pretty good shape. And I do like this Ant-Man ten times better. And <laughs> this head sculpt has got to go. This Ken Ken Dao head sculpt has got to go. But I do like this Ant-Man a, a little bit better. It's just those legs I don't really care too much for. So here's the Marvel Legends Ant-Man. It's got some pretty good articulation there in the elbow. Breaks here. We all know who's going to win the articulation battle right there. Breaks there. Arms go out. Not that much because they're on a weird ball joint and they're kind of hindered by his wardrobe. So you can't get his arms to go up. That kind of sucks, guys. You can't get his arms to go up because, see, right there, it's hindered by the way... His wardrobe was made. Ball joint on there, back and forth. He's got a break here, and he does have a waist swivel. So, that is an awesome thing that they gave him a waist swivel. Double jointed legs, knees, whatever you want to call it. Then it breaks here at the upper legs. Ankle pivoting. Good movement. Okay, guys, so really they have about the same articulation, except his arms can extend out like that, and his are hindered by his the way he was uh, made. But he do, does have these breaks here at the upper biceps, and he doesn't. So articulation, they're both pretty good as far as articulation, and they both have flaws as far as articulation is concerned. So overall look and appearance, guys, well, let me tell you. The head sculpt is way better on this one, on this one, the Marvel Select and the Marvel Legends. But the uniform, wardrobe overall, I think goes to Marvel Select, excuse me, Marvel Legends. I do like his wardrobe a little bit better. I do like the detail and the texture of his uniform. So, who wins this battle, guys? Ugh. You know... I give this Marvel Legends, I'm going to give him a seven and a half, guys, this one right here, Marvel Legends, and I'm going to give this Marvel Select maybe a seven. So he just wins by hair, an ant hair. Get it? <laughs> Do ants have hair? 
I have no idea. But yeah, I'm definitely going to give the edge to this Marvel Legends simply because of the detail overall. Uh, I do like this one better, but I do like this helmet better for the Marvel Select. Articulation is about the same, but I think the Marvel Legends wins this round in the Versus episode. What do you guys think? Which one do you guys prefer more? Do you like the Marvel Select Ant-Man or do you like the Marvel Legends Ant-Man? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. Who do you think wins this competition? Yeah, I do like the classic look to the Marvel Select, but I also do like, like I said, the texturing to this, uh, to his, uh, his wardrobe for the Marvel Legends. So Marvel Legends, slight advantage over the Marvel Selects. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. We'll go ahead and leave it at that. If you guys like this little Versus episode, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to receive more cool, awesome reviews like this. And we'll go ahead and leave it at that, guys. I just want to thank you guys for watching, and guess what? I'll catch you guys later.